Hello everyone, this is Benu Minister with you again for a let's play of uh, Crusader Kings Deus Volt with the Deus Volt Improvement Pack. Um, I just wanted to say before we I start actually getting into the game today that I want to thank the community. You guys, I have over a hundred subscribers now and almost 15,000 views on my videos. Um, I do enjoy you guys leaving comments. Uh, I, I do know I do not play the game perfectly. Uh, so please, 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 you don't, I, I don't need those comments right now. I, I will hopefully get asked those comments on anything I play blindly, but uh, other than that, I, I'm pretty much going to say, please don't leave those comments. Um, other than that, uh, it seems my most famous or popular videos actually seem to be the Crusader King videos, which I'm really happy about. It's a very good game. I have Borderlands videos coming out, as you probably do have been seeing, and uh, I need to get back to Xenoclash. Other than that, I plan to play a, some other games like Full Throttle, um, a LucasArts game, uh, and I've got quite a bit that I want to play but haven't gotten the time nor started to upload. Uh, also, I just want to show you guys, uh, apart from... I wanted to get your opinion and if you wanted me to go into this game and because I have a mod that allows me to play uh, the other factions in here other than Orthodox and Catholic I can actually play Muslims, uh, Pagans and the only Jewish uh, f group in the whole game which is, oh where are they here, the Kassars and I want to ask you guys if while I'm doing these Let's Plays for my uh, Spanish expanding Navarran Kingdom there. If you want me to play a Kassar's Let's Play where I play the only Jewish nation on the entire board. Well, get back to me, leave comments, uh, any any uh, recommendations on games. Oh, I, before I forget to, you can also contact me uh, through via instant messaging on this on YouTube, I guess. Or you can add me, Benu Minister, on Skype. Uh, I'd be glad to play some games if you want to donate to me. I'm also uh, Benu Minister on Steam. So if you have games you'd like me to play, just send me them to uh, them to me on Steam, and I'll try and get to them when I can. Other than that, I'll see you guys when we enter the game. Ciao. All right, here we are, folks. Uh, another day, another uh, kingdom maintaining, I guess. Uh, when we last left off, we had actually just gotten in a, in a war with the Soljak Turks because our Duchy Toledo here uh, declared war on them, which is our vassal, and I believe their their va vassal here, Manuel uh, Fernandez, he got in a war with them somehow as well, but I'm not quite sure. It just said vassal. Let me check. Yeah, he's their only vassal that I know of, so that's probably the reason why. Ooh, where are they actually? They have holdings all over in there. Anyways, uh, I had some viewers comment and ask about how to get the, the papacy on our side. Well, for one thing, I need more than a negative piety. You need a high piety, actually one of the highest in all of Christian Europe, to enable uh, yourself to be able to get uh, the papacy on your side and excommunicate and all that. But since we've had a bad luck with the papacy and becoming excommunicated, I doubt we'll ever get that. Other than that, um, I'm going to try and... Well, I have some money. So, I the realm stability I'm hoping is going to come back after a while. I'm going to build and hopefully keep up with that. I'm hoping to actually just wait out the Souljacks and hope they attack us here at our home. Uh, so we don't have to go all the way over there. We'll defend our vassals and stuff, but we don't want any land in the, the Middle East. Plus, we have some disloyal vassals, namely the Duke of Barcelona, who is over here, actually. Who's Berber Catholic. His name is Ganim Omar. He is long line of Omars. I don't know exactly where they were from originally, because they obviously got conquered. Anyway, let's get started, folks. Hey. Joyous auto save. You have become more fertile. Who is this? This is our son, Manuel de Haro. Okay. Good. I don't know how you would check that. 
uh, him being a male, or even being female. I don't know how you would know that. I guess he just has an internal sense or something. And it seems that our, our allies, the Kingdom of Germany, have attacked the county of Nice over here. We're going to decline. We don't want to go and attack Nice. Um, they have their own problems. <laughs> uh, other than that, uh, what was I going to check? There was something very on my mind here. Oh, I can't even remember. Oh, well. Guests will come to me eventually. Uh, let's see what we can build. We can build a ooh, an extensive road network. Oh, I was going to actually go through some of these and describe them to you. There's some interesting things in this game built around the stringency and flexibility. The more flexible you are, the more chance you get heresies, which are basically... Um, I'll see if I can find any when, after I've done this. The more flexible you are, the more chance there's heresy within your realm. The more stringent you are, the more of a chance you're going to convert people really, really quickly. So if you really want to force convert, you want a very stringent uh, nation uh, th thought. I, I'm not quite sure how that influences the game at all, but it does allow you scholastic astronomy science. I always just think it's a good thing. We have all our war... Uh, different things that like give siege engine plus two so it makes sieging faster and then you can see all the different little bonuses it gives your troops depending on what their makeup is so we're still researching power because we want some roads in Navarre and Laubard after all it is mountains and Barcelona might be good to get roads as well um, other than that there is something oh right I was gonna show the heresies to the religious map ba -ba -ba -bum. mostly Catholic Ooh. Burgos, oh right, that happened a while back. Let's see if there's a, there's a heresy. So an example, they get this heretic, which gives them plus 10 uh, percent in gold produced, minus 10 in prestige for having them, uh, but you get plus 10 effect on gold pillage and um, piety for pillaging. Oh, two nations, there's two provinces are still Jewish. Anyway, so that's, that's how that's going to go. Just thought I'd give you a heads up on that. So... We're going to expand slowly. Um, let's see what we can build. Molena, we don't want to... If they're Muslim and they end up converting, you tend to lose all your uh, religious buildings. Like, I think you lose a monastery, you lose a school, and a bunch of other things. So I don't want to do that. Um, hmm. Ergos, no. The extensive road network seemed nice. Fishing Wharf is an easy one. Well, since we have such money right now, they're Berber and they're Catholic, we're going to build a, an extensive road network. The extensive road network here is 400. It's construction time 30 months. Build time, so it reduces our build time. It increases the speed our troops move across. Our toll efficiency goes up, so we get more money on tolls, and our attrition modifier goes down. Also, we get more supportable troops, so that's a good idea. We'll go with that. Oh, Monastery and Albusarin. That's also good. Hopefully it'll help our piety. But we'll never know. Not yet. Hmm. Hmm. Italians. Alright. Oh, There's that odd little thing. You know, I'm actually thinking of just attacking this duke and then taking some more land here. I know we got a shaky empire, but I want all the Pyrenees, which you can see. The terrain mode. Well, we actually have all the Pyrenees. <laughs> I want a little bit more north of it, I guess. I'm... as Yeah, France is just a bit, a bit fractured. So, we're going to see if we can grab a title. Or probably a low one. Yeah, we can get Foi here. Uh, yeah, we still have a tarnished rep. So we're just going to vassalize them so we don't gain any more... Bad rep, basically. And since we're not really afraid of um, the Soljek Turks, hmm, we're not gonna worry about them coming to raid us or anything. Get them all to go to Erg. Oh no. Let's go here. Muster our forces a little bit. Uh, province oppressed by poverty. The subjects are furious because their ruler is employed, their people, instead of recruiting mercenary armies. Uh, so we can go, our filthy boars, how dare you rebel? 
Uh, let's see what this does. So, peasant loyalty drops, burger, clergy, all loyalty drops, piety decreased by 20. We have a 75% chance of a revolt in Jaka. Yeah, Jaka here. Uh, well, we'll go with bread jobs and dignity probably, but eh. Well, let's provide some hope. We're going to give them some gold so they don't rebel. No, we're not going to attack another one of your vassals that we don't really care about. Your son there, Philippe, we hope is going to inherit. Sawmill in Zaragoza, that's also good. Oh, what happened here? The King of Leon have attacked the Duchy of Castile. Ah, oh, okay. So, Galcia, Albizeru, <laughs> a bunch of wars, a bunch of wars, folks. Well, let's get Austrias. We're gonna. So we're, whether the game wanted us to or not, we're going to get a lot more land here. Uh, Molina. But it's going to put us back in debt. I'm not... That wasn't even my my uh, plan here, folks. I did not want a war with them. But we'll see what happens with this. They attacked quite a lot of people. Which was amazing. Uh, face... No. Yes, good. Uh, that one will kill a lot of your people. Your uh, men. For it. So we've got a war up here. Heathens are splintered. A white pe yes, we want a peace with the Seljuk Turks. We don't have. We don't need that war. We want in Jaka. Friendship. Yep. Friendship. He might get severely wounded, but friendship is always good. Nothing unites like war. Oh boy. Uh, yes. Laws. He didn't get any friends. Okay. Uh, yeesh. So many things so quickly. Dysentery Molena. Well, that's good. We pulled the troops before that happened. We're probably going to vassalize this man. Yeah, we lost a troop in Jacka. We'll just re-get him, I guess. 3,000. Yeah, so <laughs> we can't afford our armies. That's what it said. My laws are my laws. We're not going to, uh... Or, wait, Ordono. Well, good thing Ordono has no land. Because or, Ordono's an idiot. Wait, who's going to be your successor? Successor here. Oh, right, because Juan is a bastard child. He's not going to succeed us. Well, we're going to have, like, a united North Spain here. I think um, Spain was kind of squandering its people here. Vassals pleased with your wise and just uh, fair rule under feudal contract law. So our Duke of Almeria got to hire. Oh, that's nice. Can't forget our war up here. No. Yes, we got a sawmill. <sighs> This is not a war I want to be in, folks. Not at all. 